Hello there, it's Ellie here and welcome to day four of our affiliate marketing seven day challenge. Just before we start on our day four training, um, I just wanted to do a very quick recap over some of the things that we've already been talking about. So far then, the first thing that we talked about was the fact that there is a right and a wrong way to do affiliate marketing. And, um, you know, there, although there are so many different options that you can choose from, there is um, a core, a core principle, a core skills involved in actually making affiliate marketing sales. And uh, we also talked about um, some of the reasons why new affiliates struggle. And, uh, and of course, the main part of that is because um, new affiliates tend to be trying to work on a cold market so they haven't done any kind of relationship building um, they haven't done any of those kinds of things to actually start to warm the person up to warm up that uh, market and uh, and that means then that it's it's really really hard to make a sale to uh, to a cold market even professionals find it really hard to do that so uh, so yeah once we've once we've talked about that we then moved on to um, day number two, which was mostly about the seven steps process of sales. So we went into you know, the idea um, about why new affiliates uh, struggle in a lot more detail. So we broke down the process into the seven steps and, uh, and we looked at each of those individual steps and uh, just discussed them briefly. Um, but we also looked at the fact as to you know where the affiliate the, a new affiliate goes wrong which is going trying to go from step number one straight across to step number five and in fact it's step number two number three and number four that are all the uh, the kind of primers really that need to be in place for a sale to actually happen and without doing those steps then the chances are that it's you know all although you might make a sale um, it's probably going to be due to luck um, rather than anything else at that in, in that case so then we uh, on day three we talked a lot more detail about step number two and step number two is one of the major steps that uh, that is missing um, for new affiliate marketers and, uh, and we looked at the role of trust in that situation, which is what step two is all about. And uh, we also discussed different ways that you can actually start to build trust with your potential customer. Today then, um, we're going to be moving um, sort of through the sales process. We've already talked about um, stage number one, which is um, uh, prospecting or you know finding potential customers and um, we've talked in quite a lot of detail about step number two which is all about trust and the fact that um, it's very very important to establish trust with your customer and uh, if you don't do it um, really you know you you could be doing all kinds of things <laughs> um, you could literally be trying to stand on your head trying to uh, to make a sale and uh, without trust you know the chances are that it's just not going to happen so um, once those things are in place you find your customer or your potential customer um, you've you've done some work on um, developing trust and uh, the next stage then in the selling process is uh, with regard to the customers wants and their needs now there is a huge amount of information about this and uh, you know there's you could get into all kind <coughs> excuse me you could get into all kinds of philosophical debates <laughs> regarding these topics um you know some people say that needs are are things that uh, that you need to survive for example um and wants are something that you you know that, that's just something that you desire something that you don't actually need to have however um it's something that you would like to have <clears throat> Now, when it comes to the sales process, the way I personally like to see these two um, options, the difference between needs and wants, are the first thing is the customer. If you're, you know, if you're building a relationship with your customer, 
um, the chances are that your customer is going to discuss what they want. <laughs> so um, they will talk about things like, especially if we're, ta we're talking here about, you know, building income online and all those kinds of things. The chances are um, somebody that you're going to talk to is going to say things like, I want to be able to make a thousand dollars per month um, online. So that's a want. But at the same time, it might also be a need because they might need to have a thousand dollars per month to actually pay their bills. So you can, <laughs> you know, the wants and the needs, um, they, they, they do definitely cross over. However, what you want to do is to try and actually, you know, focus on the, the customer's wants first of all what is it that that person wants to achieve and you know with the case of uh, of our training here it's all about learning um, how to make affiliate marketing sales um, you know that is that is a want if you if that's not what you want then you're you're following the wrong training <laughs> and uh, you know I'm going to assume that you know fact that you're now watching video number four day number four that you do want to actually learn how to make affiliate marketing sales. Now, um, when I know that that's what you actually want to achieve, then I can then look at the different things that you need to have in place to help you to meet that want. So, for example, I know as an experienced affiliate marketer, that there are certain things that you need to have in place to help you to get an affiliate marketing sale or to, you know, to get regular sales. So it's things like specific tools. The chances are if you um, do not have uh, some form of email marketing or a list building kind of tool, um, it, you're, you're not going to manage to actually make affiliate marketing sales. You might make one here or there. Um, you, you know, we're getting back to the kind of the luck idea in comparison to the skill, because without the um, the email marketing and you know the ability to actually contact the same customer over and over and over again, you're not able to build trust. You're not able to build your relationship. You're not able to identify their wants and their needs. And uh, you know, there's so many things involved in actual email marketing it's a lot it's there's a huge amount of um, analysis and everything like that that goes on in the background whenever you're doing email marketing but i know as an experienced marketer that if you try to to make affiliate marketing sales without building your list without having the ability to contact your customer um, through email marketing then the chances are it's just not going to happen. I know that you need those things in place. You know, you're telling me what you want. You want to be able to make affiliate marketing sales. I'm telling you as an experienced marketer, if you want to achieve that, then you're going to need to have certain things in place. Now, because of the website, um, Simple Steps to Success, then that's the, those are the things that I already have in place for you. You know, I have created a system where you can collect your um, the contact details. You are you are building your personal contact list whenever you share the um, the lead capture page. The lead capture page is another need. That's another tool. But again, I have already um, provided that for you. You can't you can't create a customer list without some kind of a capture page. If you have no way to collect the customer's contact details, then you're not going to be able to create your list. So again, that is a need. You also then need, um, as I said before, um, some way of being able to uh, uh, do the email marketing. So you need to have a, a, a system in place where you can send emails to your potential customers because you need to be able to contact your customer over and over and over again and uh, the only way that we know how to do this um, successfully is through email marketing 
Now there are all kinds of different things <laughs> that are available, such as social media. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like, like if you're a, a part of my group on Facebook, then you will know that I use my, my group on Facebook to be able to contact people over and over and over again. I use my group on Facebook to help me to build relationships. However, <laughs> one of the issues with uh, social media is that people get so easily distracted that, you know, they're, they're either, you know, um, looking through all different pictures and different people's posts and all the rest of it, um, or um, they're, they're, they're kind of on their phone, they're, they're, maybe, <laughs> they're maybe watching TV, um, they're maybe trying to make the dinner, <laughs> whatever it is, you know, that's where people are involved in social media. It's one of those things that kind of, um, you know, you, you, you fit it in <laughs> around other things. Email marketing is very, very different um, to having a group on Facebook. Yes, with a group you are able to contact people, but <laughs> um, you are not able to contact people in a way when they are not distracted. So if we actually compare the difference between um, the activities that people are taking part in, or their, their, it's their mindset really, whenever somebody is on social media, they're expecting to see all kinds of different posts, they're going to have notifications, they're, they're probably going to be trying to check two or three different things all at once. As I said, they're likely to be watching TV, uh, making dinner or whatever it is. On the other hand, whenever somebody is actually um, gone into their uh, email inbox and actually started to read an email, there is a completely different focus. That person is interested, you know, if they've actually opened the email, that person is interested in reading what is actually inside that email. And, you know, uh, an email is not, all, sometimes it can only be a couple of lines, um, but especially with uh, email marketing, um, there tends to be a lot more um, information and uh, uh, you, can have, you can have some learning inside the email, you can have all sorts of things. But the main thing that I want to get across is the fact that the person um, that you're contacting has a completely different mindset. They are, they are focused on actually reading the email. And, uh, and that is completely different to when they're on social media. Now, when it comes to your customers' needs, there's not only, um, you know, the things that I can identify. As I said, there are basic things, basic tools that I would say um, that you absolutely 100% need if you want to be an affiliate marketer. Um, so the things like, as I've mentioned before, the uh, way to actually create your list, your email list, uh, a capture page to be able to do that. Um, some form of email marketing software so that you can contact your uh, your customers or your potential customers. In addition to those things, then each customer or each potential customer is also going to have an individual level of need. For example, um, as it shows you here, we can go through the um, the different levels. So we can go from beginner average, skilled, specialist, expert. And, um, you know, the, the needs for a, a beginner are going to be completely different to those of a specialist or an expert. And, uh, you know, so when we're actually looking at customer needs, it's really important to actually establish where on this um, sort of continuum, really, that people are. So if you're a complete beginner with affiliate marketing, then the fact that I am already providing things like um, the tools that you need to create your email list um, and I'm doing the emailing for you, um, you know, those things are sufficient if you are an absolute beginner with affiliate marketing. Now, if you actually want to start and develop your own skills, then that's a completely different story. A really great example of this is whenever we are starting to talk about things like copywriting and copywriting as it says in this um, screen it says you know that the it's the number one skill that guarantees i will never need 
to worry about money again <laughs> because copywriting is all about writing uh, writing your text writing copy um, in a certain way that helps to actually create a selling environment it has particular words it um, it uses psychological triggers it, it goes into a lot more detail than um, what we were talking about before which is where I am doing a lot of the work for you so if you are a complete beginner to affiliate marketing then um, you know your needs are that you need to have those things in place and I'm already uh, providing them on simple steps but if you um, if your needs are that you actually want to learn the skills um, you know you if you want to, to learn the skills that I already have then we we have a completely different set of needs because you will want to look at things like um, being able to learn how to uh, how to do copywriting okay so I uh, I hope you enjoyed that discussion um, about customer wants and needs and uh, it's time now just to talk about the recommended traffic site for today and of course um, you know if you're working online then uh, you know work if working on a traffic site um, such as the ones that I'm recommending um, in my opinion are a need it's it, doing this doing something like this makes a huge difference um, to your actual marketing campaigns and yes it is possible to actually work online and you know stick with like social media um, for example I know a lot of people who run a successful business um, just working on Facebook or Twitter or whatever it is um, however um, for me personally whenever I started learning about using the traffic sites then that is when my uh, my income um, and my learning as well um, everything really really changed from that point forward um, because I started to um, become serious about learning about marketing okay so today then um, the um, the traffic site that I'd like to recommend is one called your success mailer um, now this site um, there there might be an option whenever you register to get some free credits or there might be a, a free giveaway um, all those kinds of things um, the admin of this site uh, or the owner of this site uh, tends to create lots of different offers for you whenever you want to sign up so I don't know which offer <laughs> you might have um, but if there is an offer then it's a good way to actually get started okay so um, I just want to um, show you really what you can do on uh, your success mailer and how to send your email of course so I'm just inside uh, the your success mailer dashboard and you can see here um, this is telling me how many referrals and things I have and um, over here you will see actually there's a good option over here you will see how many visitors um, have actually clicked on my personal referral link um, here then it'll tell you you know how many new members you've uh, you have added to your list um, how many personal referrals um, so you can you can see that I haven't actually been doing very much with this site um, over the past couple of days but I still have um, some visitors coming through in fact I uh, yesterday I had 11 visitors um, now it's quite a new site and uh, at the minute I haven't earned any commission on this one um, however uh, on some of the other um, older sites that are uh, linked to this one um, I'm, I've made quite a lot of commissions so um, it is another one of those ones where if you use it you can use the site to actually promote any product um, but if you actually um, want to take things uh, a bit further then you can um, use the uh, traffic sites as a, an affiliate product to actually sell as well okay so once you have actually um, registered um, you will see that there's the different uh, options all just down at the side here there's the, the side menu um, now to actually send your emails all you need to do is click on um, the send emails button and inside here if you don't have any credits yet 
then you can click on emails to read. So we'll just go through this. Inside, um, you will see there's the, the list of emails um, that are available for you to click on. And you can see here the credit's not earned yet. So uh, all, I, all I need to do is just click on the, um, uh, the title of the email and then just click here. And it'll tell you exactly where to click and uh, you wait for the timer. Once the timer completes, then um, you will get your advertising credits added to your account. So just take another few seconds. OK, so there we go. We now have 30 credits added to our um, added to our account. So if you want to use the account for free, then this is the way to do it. Just simply click on as many emails there as um, as you want to um, until you have sufficient credits to actually send your email. Now, once you're ready, you can click on here, which is send an email. And the good thing about your success mailer is, um, you, you know, there is no minimum um, amount of credits. So, for example, if you just clicked on one email there um, and received 30 credits, it would say, it would tell you here um, that you have enough credits to uh, email 30 people or 30 members. Um, you know, um, right now I have a, uh, an upgraded account on, on here. So it means then that I can send an email to all 2,147 members, um, you know, without having to click any of the emails. So when you're ready to actually email, just click here. And you have the different options. So um, you can send an email right now, or if you prefer, you can um, click here to schedule. So the schedule button is very, very handy. You know, if you are um, like myself, sometimes sometimes writing emails and doing things like at 2, 2 a.m., <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I might want to schedule it for maybe 9 or 10 a.m., something like that, when more people are going to be um, actually up and, and actively reading the emails. <laughs> um, but for now, um, I'm just going to use the click here to email now. And it's exactly the same as most of the other sites. You just have a box to fill in. So you've got your subject line box, your email body box. And on this one, then you also have the website URL box. OK, so as I've done all week then, um, I have um, just copied across the email that we are using, which is the one that's um, 37 or sorry, 38 ways to get more sales or team members on autopilot. And um, the email body is the one that you can find on the promotional center page on simple steps um, to success. As always, I am using my tracker code. And yes, I will talk about this in another video. Um, but for now, um, then you can, of course, simply use the um, lead capture page link from simple steps as well. So once you have written your email, then click here um, to uh, check your email links. So that's it. Uh, opening the box then. All you need to do then is click here, test your, your URL. And there we go. It shows then my um, capture page. And you can see here that the link has been approved. OK, so once it has been approved, then you can click here on Next Step. And um, because I have a, a membership on uh, uh, the, the program, it's called Your Success Advantage. I have actually linked all of the different sites um, that are available. So there's, I think, 20, 22 or 24 that are available. Um, now, the uh, ones that I can send the email to are already ticked. Some of the others, I don't have advertising credits yet um, on those counts. So all I need to do here is click at the bottom. And that's it sent. So my email was sent here to your success mailer. Um, it was also then cloned, as you can see, to uh, your viral mailer. 
um, all active mailer and unlock your list those are the ones that I had advertising credits on so you can see here um, the uh, the previous stats for this particular um, email and this is something that I do actually want to point out to you so um, the first time then I sent this email was on the 14th of the second um, the second time was the 18th of the second and the, the today then is the 20th of the second so each time the uh, number to actually send it to you has increased that's because the number of people on the site have increased um, the total send so um, some of those people um, uh, might not be actually active on their accounts and uh, on uh, all of these sites then the uh, emails are only actually sent to active members but this is the important part here um, the total opens and the total clicks so the first time that I sent this message um, then there were 106 people opened the email and there were 96 sorry 98 um, people actually clicked on the link inside the second time I sent it then um, there's uh, a lot less um, people actually opening the email and um, they, there was 56 then people actually clicked on the link inside um, now this, so that's that's about average you know um, most of the people are actually clicking the link inside now that could be because they are actually getting advertising credits um, however it can also then be um, you know because they're interested in the actual topic and they want to know what you know what I'm talking about but this part, the fact that the uh, total open rate has gone down from 106 to 69 is actually quite important. And the reason for that is because, you know, the people, uh, the 106 people who have already read this email, because it's exactly the same email, it's the same title, everything else. So the number of people who are reading um, the email or opening the email has gone down because those people who have already read it the chances are that, that you know they don't want to read it again they, they already know what it's about so that means then that there's going to be less people actually opening the email now the fact that the um, uh, the site members uh, number is going up all the time means that there's going to be new members all the time who are possibly going to be interested in opening this email um, but there's a there's a very simple way to actually change this around and that is by simply changing the actual um, email uh, subject line now that's something that we will be talking about more in tomorrow's video um, but I just wanted to start and you know get you thinking about this because you have to start to think like a marketer um, you have to start to pay attention to things like you know the total open rate the total number of clicks when these things are, are um, going down and if it gets to the point where you know I'm only getting maybe 10 opens or something like that then I really really do need to actually change the uh, the email title but as I said we're going to be talking a lot more about that in um, tomorrow's video okay so that's it really for me um, for today um, hopefully as uh, you know you have all week um, I'm hoping that you have enjoyed the videos so far and that you are uh, you know learning quite a bit about affiliate marketing and, uh, and of course I hope as well that you are using the recommended sites the traffic sites and that you are actually getting some good results from those now remember that what's happening in the background is that I am going to be emailing um, your um, prospects for you I am going to be talking to them about all kinds of different things and um, I will of course be focusing in on um, the affiliate marketing program and I will be then directing people to this uh, um, specific course as well so those are the things that I'll be doing in the background you know I'm taking care of the emailing of your subscribers and your members right now so um, once we start to move on from that process then um, we will be actually talking about 
you then learning how to how to send those emails okay so that's it then and uh, i shall hopefully see you in tomorrow's video can't believe we're going to be on day five already <laughs> okay speak to you then take care now bye